Tradition has deep roots here at Pensacola, Florida. Some reach back centuries. Others, such as the tradition of naval aviation, are relatively young, not quite 60 years of age. One tradition is particularly significant at Pensacola's Naval Air Station. It's a tradition known as the Blue Angels. A fantastic aerial ballet, the decision maneuver is executed with quick and easy grace. A melding of aviator skills and the performance of high-speed jet aircraft. This is how the Blue Angels tradition is seen in the sky. Like many traditions, it started with a mission. The year was 1946. As representatives of the United States Navy, the newly formed flight demonstration team was directed to demonstrate the tactical techniques of naval aviation. Their role was to augment the Navy's recruiting programs by stimulating interest in the United States Navy. Thus, they could aid in the procurement of naval aviators and aviation personnel and promote morale in the naval service. To date, a hundred million people have witnessed their demonstration and know the team affectionately as the Blue Angels. On the ground, the Blue Angels tradition is seen as a closely knit team of 10 officers and 90 enlisted men, all regular career Navy. For each team member, this tour of duty is a two-year investment, helping to build and maintain the Blues tradition. It's hard work being Blue, for the pilots practice every day, practice, and more practice. For the maintenance crews, it's a constant cycle of preparation, practice, and preparation. This game has two names. This is where both are accomplished. Naval Air Station Pensacola, home of the Blue Angel. The care and feeding of modern supersonic jet fighters is a full-time job. To the crews who maintain the Blue Angel's aircraft, preparation is a goal of peak performance at all times. And tradition calls for this task to be done by the finest technicians found in the Navy. The Blues team has all the required service ratings and job descriptions, plus the caliber of skill expected of men carefully selected from a long list of volunteers. The fierce pride of achievement felt by the Blues is reflected in the unique decor of their home base environment. This is also a place for hard work. In these offices are carried out all the routine tasks of naval unit administration, plus special tasks imposed by the team's special mission. At certain moments in time here at Pensacola, the end results of practice and preparation come closer to fulfillment. All elements of the Blue Angel team are mustered, men and machines. They are leaving home base for a flight demonstration. It happens about 80 times per year. A hundred different pilots have sat in briefing sessions like this one since the Blues were formed. Each is a regular Navy or Marine officer, 26 to 36 years of age, and a highly qualified jet pilot. Each has undergone an exhaustive selection process to become a Blue Angel. Together, they contribute a wealth of special experience to the Blue Angel tradition. There is flight instructor experience here, Duty at Naval Advanced Jet Flight Schools, where they helped write the book on precision maneuvers. There is also combat experience here. Carrier operations with the fleet in Southeast Asia. Interdiction and strike missions over Vietnam's jungles. And to all these former duty assignments, they will return when their Blue Angels tour is over. Right now, the briefing is for a peaceful mission. So, we're going to have to take a good look at the field when we get there. Make a standard walk down and be a far type takeoff. Ladies and gentlemen. This is a typical showcase for the Blue Angels flight demonstration. It could be a small airfield in rural America, 
a military base, or one of the free world's major international jet airports. Despite the holiday atmosphere, this is tradition on display. Those of you in the front rows can see the military manner in which our six demonstration pilots have walked down or are approaching their assigned aircraft and have been saluted by their respective plane captains and first mechanics. In a few moments after a conference with the maintenance personnel, the pilots will man up these F-4Js to begin today's flight demonstration. All six pilots have manned up their aircraft now. Their crew chiefs are assisting and staffing them into these F-4J Phantom jets. Very shortly, our Blue Angel ground crew will begin starting the small auxiliary power unit that will in turn start our Phantom. Watch as pilots and ground crew team up to check all the very important components of these Phantoms before they give the final thumbs up and taxi out to begin the flight demonstration. down runway from the right for the diamond takeoff. Far lead solo pilot, as he runs his engine to full power, now at 170 miles an hour, pulls the nose of his aircraft into the air, and with a gear and flap still extended, rolls his aircraft 360 degrees with the gear and flaps down. A very spectacular dirty roll on takeoff. Race to the gear and flaps. He's always now down the runway. Now pulling back on the stick, climbing straight up. Allowing those two General Electric J79 engines to power these aircraft to drive his F4J straight up. Now very smooth 
formations. They roll over the top now as they roll into that four aircraft formation, the left echelon roll.